Hello, folks. We currently sit with a record of 15, 6, and 1. Pretty decent stats overall with the save percentage and the GAA. And the team is currently fourth in the league with an overall record of 22, 8, and 4. So we're doing good. I'll just quickly show you guys the lines again, and I will try to blast through the season as fast as possible. So today, I will play one, and then sim four. We'll go, we'll just go intense, all right? So yeah, here's the lines. Um, Don't know why we, anyway, <laughs> defense, there it is. We are not very good on defense, but kind of make up for it by having Tino Manny back here. And then we got Sorokin with 84 overall there. So, do we have anyone scratched? I'm actually kind of curious. I always press the wrong one. Um, Paterka is scratched with low top nine. Ulette and Quinn. All right. So, yeah. I guess we're all right at the moment. And let's go ahead and jump into some games here. So, yeah, the Islanders are doing pretty good themselves. Let's see how we fare against them in this simulation. one nothing for the Islanders. 2-1 for the Islanders on 22 shots. We have one goal on 18. So, let's jump into this one and see if we can make the difference. I'm actually pretty upset that the Islanders did not go with... The whole fisherman thing for their reverse retro. I know these aren't their reverse retros either, but you know, the fisherman would have been iconic. And unfortunately, they didn't do it. But anyway, Eichel, let's go! Right off the bat! What a passing play from the lads. Reinhardt's gonna have a wide open net there. He will capitalize. Varlamov somehow glitching through our people, but that's alright. Look at this. Boom, tape to tape. Slow-mo, it's beautiful. Goes for a pass, and it's in the back of the net. All right, one nothing. That's a hot start. Bailey in over the line for the Islanders. Takes a shot that will be in the mitten. I'll pass it out to Darlene, who's going to carry it up the ice. All right, here we go, folks. 2-2 two -two now, tie game. And it's a, it's a whole new outlook now. We came into this down by one and instantly tied it up. So now, next goal will put the team in the lead. It's going to be huge. Or I guess if somehow it goes to overtime, the next goal will win the game, no matter what. <laughs> because, you know, that's the way overtime works. Golden goal. But, yeah. We'll find out if that becomes the case in the third period. Or if we have to wait for overtime. Wallstrom, over the line. Takes a horrible shot. But it will find its way to Pelik. Now Bailey gets it to Trocek. Back to Pelik. Walking in. Oh, he's able to walk right in. I gave out... The biggest rebound of all time. And Bailey's going to bury it. So I really hope that, you know, whoever scores the next goal, in this case it's the Islanders, uh, win the game. Hopefully that's not what happens. Maybe I should have played a little bit further back in my net. I don't know. I've been told to challenge shots. So I challenged the shot. And then I gave out a big old rebound. It probably has to do with the fact that I am 78 overall. Still not tremendous in the rebound control category. But even then, I feel like that just would have happened no matter what. So... Meh, I guess just keep it going for now and maybe try to learn something from that. I'm not too sure what I will learn from that, but yeah, either way, the Islanders are back up by one, unfortunately. Still early on here in the third period, though, so there's lots of time for us to tie it up or for them to get another goal and get the two-goal lead. Hopefully that one is not... Oh my word, what are you doing? Plekanov, we need a huge draw win from you, and we get it. Cousins walks in. Oh man, tries to pass it in front. He did get it off, but unfortunately, we were not able to get a chance on the net. Plekanov over the line, takes the body to make the play, and miss the net, and Plekanov gets another shot just wide of the net. Come on, boys. Hit the net here. I mean, actually, to be fair, we're playing great. I'm not going to complain. The offense is absolutely giving her 110 right now. And we just haven't been lucky enough to score a second goal. Yes! Fire me vertical! Wow, Plekhanov passed it out front to Yanmark, who rips a shot low there, and it finds its way in the net. And just like that, the game is tied again. So we have ourselves a 3-3 game now. This has been... More of an offensive showing than anything else so far, clearly. At least the third period has been. Richard Panic will dump it in. I will meet that at the- Oh! What was that? Okay. Thankfully, they didn't charge at me. I was able to pick it up and get the pass off to Archie. And it finds its way over to Skinner now on the far boards. He cuts in, sort of throws off the defense. Does a little spin around. Gets past two guys. A great pass to the point. And that was a very good shot. What is going on? 
We are absolutely insane right now. All right, 4-3. The lads have the lead now. Hopefully I can at least play all right now and we can maintain this lead because I don't want to... Oh! oh my word, I'm so happy our defense was there. It hit my pad and it looked like it was about to skip right over to his stick and it was going to be 4-4. And the offensive explosion would have continued, but luckily the defense was there. He's able to pick it up and they did not score. Archibald back to Namath, down to Skinner. Walks out, gets knocked off the puck, and now Bailey has it. Passes it up to Wallstrom. Here we go. That's a save I'm going to make right here. Oh, what a deke. What a lad. That's saved. And that will find its way to the Buffalo Sabres. Coming back in. I'm going to try to get that. Oh, he's, he's going to beat me to it. All right. Get back in the net quick before something bad happens. Namath makes a pass up to Jackery, who walks in. Goes for a one-touch deke. A shot of Varlamov. Puts that one in the oven mitt. So basically, we're going to be simulating eight of our starts per video now. Just to try and really fly through these seasons and get to the playoffs. And obviously, we do want to play some season games. We don't want to simulate the whole dang season. But um, yeah, this should get us through it very quickly. Within probably several episodes. So yeah, we'll be back, be back to the playoffs in no time for sure. Olafsson passes it back. And Eichel ends up with it, but is blocked on his shot attempt. Six and a half to go here, and Trocek over the line does an absolutely pointless deke, pretty selfish, and loses it to our defense. Olofsson to Eichel, goes to pass back down low, and that won't make it through. Here comes Sammy over the line. Let's a wrist shot go. That was awful. Oh, my word. This is all my fault. I'm an idiot. I'm actually dumb. I don't know why I tried that. You know what, guys? I just don't want to talk about it. Nope. Not interested. Well, my save percentage is a complete write-off at this point. That's a gimme. Brock Nelson passes the puck to me, pretty much. All right, let's, uh, there you go. Just a safe little pass. Get back to the net ASAP. I'm not trying to have another mistake happen here. Darlene gets the pass up to Cousins, who loses it to Nelson. Have it in the middle now. Goes for a shot. The defense able to break that up. Now, here comes Plekhanov, who gets stapled against the boards, and now Stetcher has it. He will get the puck in deep yet again. I'm not even going to look. Screw it. I shouldn't even change that camera. I should just leave it on, like, the puck view so I could see more. But regardless, hopefully I'll remember that for next time. Two minutes to go. It's now 4-4. Oh, dude, I can't believe that. Wallstrom up to Bailey. Takes a shot in the... I'm, I'm not. I'm scared now. I'm not passing it. It was Trocek again, too. You weasel. Get out of here. Bailey has it. Takes a shot. I... Oh, my word. That would have made me so angry if that went in. But luckily, we were able to kick it aside. Eichel passes in the middle to Olofsson, who gets a shot off. But Varlamov going to save that one. 42 remaining. This score got out of control big time here in the third period. But right now, it has slowed down a little bit. Will we see overtime again? We seem to be huge fans of overtime recently. So it's very possible. That we witness another one here. Dobson goes across to Pellick. Carries it up over the red line and to Bailey now. Stops up. Cuts in the middle. Thankfully, the defense were able to come back and stop that opportunity. Eichel in the middle to Olsen, who lets one rip. I feel like he had the right spot there, too, if it made it through. But unfortunately, went off of a defender. Olsen down low. Has it behind the net. Come on. I don't want to go to overtime. What a pass and what a shot by Eichel, but Barlo Barlamov. Barlamov. Gonna make a great save. Don't you dare. Don't you... I would have lost my mind. All right. Well, that's gonna do it. We are headed to overtime off of a pathetic performance from both goaltenders, actually, in that third period. Time for some three-on-three -three action. Trocek has a shot in the middle after a pass from Bailey makes it through, but... I was able to kick that one aside, and now Dalene carrying it up the ice. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Olafson takes a shot. Varlamov backed way up into his net. Still saved it, though. Okay. That was a exciting start to the overtime. Let's go. What a goal. That was a set play, it looked like. Sends it home. That is huge from the Buffalo Sabres. We needed that. Thanks, guys. I played awful, but... The boys bailed me out. They did end up with 33 shots, to be fair. But, I mean, it's still not good. How do we end up with the coach feedback? Really? Okay. Team play. Definitely up there from all my passing. But I also donated them a free goal. So, 
Not too sure about that one, but I'll take it. All right, what have we got from James? Is he just going to take us around the league tonight? Sounds well, like some it. Fun, yeah. Some drama, a little bit of Lots of drama. On the ice tonight. Let's take All a right. look at some of those Good stuff. Around Good the stuff. The Islanders I'll take a win. Their offense, I didn't play great, a but a win's Sabres. a win. Buffalo pulls off Sims some next OT game. And get the we are win. in against the Predators. Okay, so that shut James right up. Let's go ahead and simulate this one now and see if it's... Nope. You had your chance, James, and you blew it. All right, first period. Ooh, love that. All right. Not a great goaltending performance so far from either goalies. And... Why? Okay, well, there's an overtime loss. Not a great performance at all. Our stats are slowly going down the drain. We got Toronto up next here. We're not in for that one. Currently at 23 wins. Come on. Ah, oh, that was an L. I think. Pretty sure we only had seven. James, zip it. Carolina, here we go. This will be our second simulation game. Unless it's close, we'll jump in. And, okay. There's another L. Not in for the Senators game. And we take another L. We're in against the Pity Pens here. 17, 12, and 10. Boom. Okay, good stuff. Nice. Let's jump into this one. Madison Bowie gets it up to Reinhardt. We have a 1-0 lead here, jumping into the third period against the Pity Pens. So, so far, so good. Goudreau has it, carrying it up. I believe they had 22 shots or something like that as well. So, yeah, it's been a good performance up until this point. Can't wait to ruin that. Victor Olofsson in over the line. In the middle to Eichel, who rips a shot. That'll be saved in the rebound. I'm not sure if the goalie got a piece of that or if he just missed the net, but... One of the two happened. Murray in over the line. Stops up. We'll get back checked by Eichel and ultimately lose the puck because of that. Reinhardt now has it. And he'll have the puck taken off him from Sydney the Kidney. Johnny Goods in over the red line. Oh, this is scary. In the middle to Zucker who tries to rip a shot. But Rasmus gets his twig in the way and stops that chance. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. Zucker, I made the save. Very decent. Very decent indeed. Cool. All right. A quarter of the way through the third period here. Goes for a pass in the middle that won't quite make it. Yeah, Mark has it. But Palat says, give me that. And he complies. Hurdle gets over to Gensel. Who gets knocked off the puck by Ulet. Battle in the corner now. Gensel. No. Oh, my word. I tried to poke check, but I was like already hitting butterfly. And I just completely panicked. I'm not sure how he even lost that puck. But... If he was able to do what he was planning, I am 90% sure it was going in. Marino manages to hold the line. Gensel goes for a shot from the point. Hurdle now gets a shot off right in front. He's able to save that one. Battle behind the net now. Holy crap, there's just so many players right there in a small little area. All right, Yanmark yeah, gets the puck. Carrying it in takes a shot, but Flower going to mitten that one. I'm so upset about these rosters, man. I don't get why it did that. I made sure I had the most up-to-date rosters, but I know that people are commenting about there's some glitch in BIA Pro where you can't get them or something like that. And you can't update the rosters now. At this point, it's too late. Don't worry, though. We'll probably have another BIA Pro this year. I'm not going to drag one out like I did last year. Holy. I probably should have been hugging the post there, but thankfully I was still able to make the stop. All right, Sabres, here we go. Let's try to get another one here. Make it a little less scary for us, Eichel! You legend! He listened, and he listened good. He takes a shot, gets his own rebound in front of the net, buries it for a 2-0 lead. And now we just relieved a little bit of pressure. Look at this. What a beauty. Just coasts in too, eh? No stride. Just walks in. The defense don't know what to do. They are clueless at that point. And yeah, he's just going to bury his own rebound. Love to see it. John Marino carrying the puck and passes in the middle to Goudreau. Does a little deke. He is going to get a shot off there. And even gets, like, an X-Factor thing, I think. But I was able to stop it. Jack Eichel with it again. Do it. You won't. You won't? Ooh. Night That's unreal from you, Jack. I love that. Oh, boy. Johnny Goudreau coming in. A bit of a two-on-one here. Passes in the middle. Oh, my word. I slid way too far to the left. Luckily, our defense were able to <laughs> stop whatever was going on there. But it was definitely a little battle happening in front of the net. Pass in front to Olafson. Has it on his backhand. Goes to walk in, but fails miserably. And now the pity pen's coming back the other way. Jake Gensel to Sydney the Kidney. If that found its way in the net, I would have been both upset and impressed. But either way, I made the save. And here we are, still up by two. 
Gensel goes across to Palat. Gets it across. Oh my, I slid way too far again. I am very guilty of that this game. And I'm getting very, very lucky that our defense are able to stop them from getting these shots. Otherwise, we'd be in big trouble. Come on, Ule, get the puck out. This is some pressure that we don't need right now. I think it just showed that Jack Eichel is second in the league for points right now. Only behind Kucherov by three. So yeah, he is having quite the year. Too bad he's not actually on the Sabres in real life anymore. But at least in this, you know, be a pro world, he's doing amazing. Yeah, Mark able to just walk in, takes a shot, but Flower once again gonna stop it. Oh no! Oh my word! Thankfully I covered that. All right, pass it over to Ulet, which I probably shouldn't have done. I don't know why. It's like I rarely ever smother it anymore, and I should probably do that a little bit more because there's too many times I pass it out, and I 100% should not be doing that because their team is right in front of me. Gensel, back to Montour, who passes it down low to Palat. That will be broken up. Good job from the Sabres. Oh, no. We didn't get it out, though. And now Hurdle! Scores an unreal goal. Scores an absolutely unreal goal. Well, there goes the goose egg, but thankfully, because of Jack Eichel, we still have the lead. 2-1. Oh, I'll do it again. Give us another insurance marker. You won't. Great job. All right. Well, I appreciate the effort, boys. Definitely. Ooh. Thought that was going to be a bigger hit than it was. Montour knocked Olofsson off the puck, and now he has it. Up to Sydney the Kidney, who does a couple spinneroonies and gets it up to Johnny Goods. We got about a loony left in this game, and I am very concerned right now. Stop that, and that's when I would have passed out for sure, because there was no one around me, and that guy was wide open, but I literally could not. So, yeah, that's a thing. Draw in for the Pens. Montour has it, goes for a shot from the point, and Bowie will pick that up. Oh, my word. Okay, missed the net. 50 seconds to go. They did not pull their goalie, which I think is... An interesting tactic. But anyway, Eichel in over the line. Goes for a pass in the middle. Won't quite make it through. But he still gets a nice pass off. A great shot attempt. And an unreal stop from Fleury. Alright, now they're pulling their goalie. Okay. <laughs> Crosby has it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Over to Zucker. That will be stopped. 27 seconds to go here. Zucker again. Over to Carter. With a weak shot that is stopped. And I will also stop the rebound. That time, it took, it took a lot. To not pass it. But I I was able to <laughs> overcome the urge. Hurdle wins the draw. Man, we could have used a draw win there. So bad. Goudreau gets a shot off. That will be stopped. Now Gensel has it in the middle to Goudreau. Is going to absolutely send it home. Yeah. Isn't that just the way? Well, another overtime, folks. Don't you just love overtimes? I know I sure do. How many games have I even simulated so far? It's been two, right? I think I've simmed two. So... Guess we got about six more to go. We have another overtime here. Hopefully we can find another OTW. I think we've been pretty good at that recently. Oh boy. All right, flying poke check inbound. Montour. Flying poke check, baby! Yeah, that's what I thought. Get out of here. Absolute clown. Olafson carrying it up. And he gets it to Eichel. Walks in, takes a shot. Flower going to stop that with the blocker. Now Olafson is pinned behind the net. Here we go. Dahlin in the front! To Eichel, another pass, and another shot that is blocked. I wonder if flying poke checks count as a save. I hope they do. Do you guys remember also when... Who was it? For some reason I want to say the Dominator, but I don't think it was. But someone sort of came out, and Gabrick was skating for the puck, and he literally front flipped. That was wild. I can't remember who the goalie was, though. Montour, over to Goudreau. Yeah, don't let him get that shot off. He has an X-Factor thing. And it is an absolute missile. So if we can avoid letting that happen, we should be at least all right. Marino has it at the point. Goes for... <laughs> that would have been a shot that would find its way into. Just because it's me. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Love it. Gave it up, and Jake Gensel was sort of coming in. But Eichel managed to put in a great effort there and get the puck back. I absolutely stink at shootouts. So I'm hoping that that doesn't happen. I pretty much just bite way too hard on their deeks. Like, I would be an awful goalie because I take the smallest thing. You know, they'll just give me a little head fake and I will have already be basically on the bench. Under one minute to go here in overtime. Let's go, Sabres. Let's get a goal and not let this go to a shootout. Pretty please. Bowie walking in, but Marino going to take it from him. Nice try. Right there in front of the net from Reinhardt, but not able to score. Plekhanov has it at the point now. Down low to Reinhardt. 
Passes it back to Bowie, who goes to Plekhanov. What a save. Are you kidding me? Come on, Plekhanov. Do it. Oh, no. Don't, don't do that. That's not what I wanted you to do at all. Montour has it. He's in over the line. And he is going to stop up. Passes it to Carter, who gets knocked off the puck by Darlene. 14 seconds to go. Oh, boy. We're really going to go to a shootout, aren't we? Rasmus. Oh, my word. He's just right up the middle. What a goal. Are you kidding me? What an absolute animal. That, he's, he's my favorite player ever now. He has to be. Like, let's get an instant replay of this. Guy just picks up the puck, turns on the Jets here, goes past one, splits the D who have no idea what's, what a goal. That was bonkers. I feel like that'll make a pretty cool thumbnail. So we're gonna rock that. Time to simulate six games. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. What happened right, around the league time, tonight, James? I'm gonna interrupt you anyway, because I'm just simulating, but... Overall, how many shots did they end up with, by the way? The I had a 947 save percentage? No. Did I? Did they have that many New shots? Jersey yeah, I had 38 shots against. One, Holy crap. Let's go. Sick. All right. Let's simulate the next game. Are we in? We are not. St. Louis. Let's take a dub, though. Come on. 25. Home. Yes! Fire me vertical. We're also not in against the Jackets, so let's simulate this one. And it is another dub. Fire me up. We're not in. Okay. Did we get stripped of our starting roll? I think that was an L. And now we're in against Arizona. It looks like they maybe put me in because we finally lost. But anyway, first period, 1-1. One, one. Second period, 2-1. Third period, 6-2. What a third period. Why are we so good in the third period? I'll take that. Unreal from you, Sabres. Okay, so that is sim game number three, I think. So we still got a lot more to go here. The Calgary Flames, eighth in the league right now. Doing very well. 1-1, one, 2-1 one, one Sabres, and 3-1 Sabres. Let's go. Great performance. All right, four more games to simulate. If I have it wrong, it doesn't really matter. We're just trying to simulate and get through as many as we can here, so... We will honestly probably almost finish the season in the next episode. 2-1, 4-3, 6-4. But they had 51 shots. All right. I'll take that. Tino Manny playing unreal. Got Chicago up next. We are in for that one. Let's simulate it. I've lost track now. I think we need three more, including this one. So this one plus two more. 2-1 two, Chicago and 3-1 Chicago on 23 shots. Not one of the better performances, but it's all right. It's going to happen. The Wild. Are we in? We are not in. Simulate that one. They are 30th in the league, and it wasn't a win. I'm not sure if it was a loss in overtime or regulation. I wasn't really paying attention. Kind of think it was regulation. Anyway, Vancouver, 16, 28, and 7. They are 31st in the league. We are in for this one. Love that start. Great stuff. And a 6-1 victory over the Canucks. Oh, we're in against the Canucks again here. All right, simulate. Yep. Hopefully we can repeat what we did last game. one nothing, 2-1, and 2-2. Two, two. Shootout. Oh, we lost in a shootout. That's lame. And we are in against the Seattle Kraken next game, who are 25, 24, and 1. And right now, we are how many games in? 50. We are 50 games into the season. So maybe we will just finish up the season next episode and get to the playoffs. I think, yeah, might as well simulate through the rest there. The other, I guess that's quite a bit. It's like 32 games. We'll see what happens, maybe. Because we might not start every game anyway. And, yeah, we'll just take it by by episode. So we'll see what is going on. And if we're feeling it, then, yeah, we'll just simulate all the way to the playoffs in the next one. Because I know you guys would probably prefer that anyway. So, yeah, that's that. Let's have a look here at the lines real quick again. Actually, I'll do that at the beginning of every episode. So I won't do that now. Let's go back. Let's view the stats, however, and see how everybody's doing. So... We are 30-13-7, which is second in the Atlantic, and in the entire league, we are third. The Jets are now up there, 33-12-5, with 71 points. Good for them. Jack Eichel already has 76 points in 50 games. Holy smokes. We got 57 from Olafson, 46 from Reinhard Plekhanov with 44, and Darlene, 34. All right, so yeah, we are doing quite well. How are the goaltenders doing? No rookie. No, uh, it's not what I meant to do. All right. 21, 8, and 6. 9, 10, 270. 9, 5, and 1. 9, 30, 224. All right. Good stuff. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like if you did. 
That'd be greatly appreciated. And yeah, I will see you guys soon.